Alright everyone, so continuing on with the feeding video, so this is 119 part 2. We featured most, if not all, of the left side of the shelving unit and a little bit of the top. Now, second part is going to focus on this part right here, including the three Deathstalker Scorpions as well as the other new additions except the uh, Hogna species which I fed in the first part. So, let's get started. This one here is my Brachypalma verdesi, the Mexican Rose Gray. This is Kalinka. Freshly molted. Though I do admit she's kind of looking like a bee vagans more than anything. Alright, this is my last female LP. Uh, this one here is Daniela. Oh, she's sure spritzy this evening. Beautiful. Here's uh, Wendy. She is my Choco Goldeny Grandma Solo Poker piece. A little smaller than the one that you saw in the first part. Used to be a half an inch five years ago and growing really quickly. Here's Princess Peach. Same as Wendy. Grandma Solo Poker piece. Yeah, Peach has got it. This is the only tappy in my collection that's left. Uh, this is the female Tapangenius gigas, the orange tree spider. Female named Barb. Nice job. I think I might upgrade her into those uh, one gallon rubber made jars. I think she's starting to outgrow this enclosure a little bit. This one here is a Brachypalma Kalenbergi, Mexican brown. Yep. Certainly not a problem. This one's Alberto. He is my Brachypalma albiceps. Mexican Gold Rev Rump, a male. Yeah, it's a pity that my big female wasn't interested in eating, but at least I got him. Very nice species. Now we're moving on to Willow. She is my Lassiodora Fracta, the Brazilian Smoky Gray Bird Eater. Confirmed female. Ooh, love it. Yep. Pretty much strong feeding response, typical of these Lassiodoras. Yep, she's probably going to get as big as Daisy, around 8 to 10 inches. Well, 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 look who we have here. I got a new freshly molted pokey. Now, this one here is a crossbreed between a Vitata and Ornata. I really want to show you this uh, pretty pokey, even though that crossbreeds are not my favorite. I uh, just want to show you what she looks like. Yeah, she's really pretty. And definitely uh, have to rehouse her. That is what she looks like. This is 100% confirmed female. I do even have to look at her molts. You can tell by how nice and white she is. This one I'm naming Tatiana from The Evil Within. This is my hopefully suspect female, Pocotheria Hanamavila Semica. Uh, the Ramash Warm Ornamental. And this one's going to end pretty quickly. With a blink of an eye, 
That cricket is dead. This one is a very cool baboon. Loves to hide. Uh, this one here is a Eucratocelsus pachypus, which is known as the stout-legged baboon. Had a little brain fart there. There we go. This is a near full-grown female. This one I'm going to probably likely upgrade this weekend into one of the larger pill vials. This is the Lassia Gerides striatus, the Goliath stripe leg bird eater. Got a named Vera. Yeah, this is the one with the exceptionally large carapace. Gets around six or seven inches. Oh, Serena molted. That's really cool. This one here is my Eupalestris Wagenbergi, the white collared tarantula. Oh, nice. It's usually don't have a very big appetite compared to its relative the Camper Stratus, but she surprised me. Sweet. Possibly the most evil tarantula in my collection. The spawn from hell. From Nyctopus concerides. Haitian brown bird eater. <laughs> okay, sell yourself, John. It's a feeding video. So, let's see if I can get a nice juicy super worm for her. Uh, yeah, this is the most aggressive spider that I own, next to my S. calciatum. Isabella. Ooh, nice one. Just love her nice color sheen on her carapace and over her body, kind of like a bronze color to them. More of a purple color as uh, they become more male. This one's confirmed female. This one here is a Formictopus erratus male, a uh, Cuban bronze that I named Don Manuel. Whoa! Kind of scared me there. You never did that before. Usually he's pretty docile. But then again, it is a Formictopus species, so... Gotta hope for the best. Yeah, you can see why they're called the Cuban Bronze. Just because of their bronze carapace. Yeah, he's a male. Probably next molt heat might mature. All right, I'm about to do something very scary. Feeding Pandora, my big female Indian ornamental, P. regalis. Okay, watch this. Five, four, three, two, one. Contact. Ooh, nice. You got it mid-air. A nice big regalis. So this is about a 10-gallon tank. Perfect for an adult pokey. Right now for a Samopos Cambridgei, the Trinidad Chevron. This is a spiderling. Hoping it's male. Because I have a big female that you saw in the first part. Right, time for Espa's turn. This is my Leopard gecko is a high hypo yellow morph. <coughs> mm, excuse me. Sorry about that. At the sneeze. <laughs> this is John's most favorite tarantula in his collection. Uh, this is a Pocotheria bara, the ivory lowland ornamental. Yeah, this is a six inch female named Charmaine. And Charmaine is very beautiful. I just really love the 
contrasting black and gold. This one here is a Salem. She is my Pocotheria formosa. Ironically, it's called the Salem ornamental. I like to call it the purple pokey because of the highlights on the carapace. Kind of give it like a purple hue to them. Beautiful. There she goes. What an extremely nice looking pokey. This is Nadia, my Nandu Chromatis, the white striped breeder. She's about a four and a half inch female. They get quite a sizable size when they grow up, around five to six inches. There we go. And she got it. White striped bird ear. And she's definitely not a happy camper. This is my other spawn from hell, just as evil as Isabella. Uh, my other Pekin Cerides. <laughs> you see that there? Didn't really take much to uh, kind of piss her off. I'm just trying to show you your super worm. You don't have to get fussy and huffy and puffy with me. Oh yeah, you see that? She no like me. She no like me. Well, was that evil enough for you? Well, something a lot more better tempered is Aragog. She is my Brachypalma albopolosum, the curly hair. Now I do have two females, this one here and the successor to my late female Curly Sue, who passed away uh, back in August and I'm you know, still kind of sad when I mentioned her name because I had her ever since I started collecting teas almost 20 years ago. And I'll have her for another good 15 20 years love the species and here's my other one sue the second right, there is Vinny my female Mastigoproctus giganteus the giant American vinegaroon oh there we go Yeah, she got it. Here is Roy, my immature male. Gramasola pulchra, Brazilian black. The blackest tea in the hobby. Wait to see how big my female is. Ebony. Right over here. Yeah, big old seven inch girl with humongous fangs. A rival of that of my Goliath Bird Eater. There we go, look at that. That is huge. And if you get bitten by that, You'll be in for a lot of pain. Yeah, mine is not so gentle. Mine prefers to be throwing threat poses and uh, starting to attack. Usually, G pokers are pretty docile, but not my specimen. She's roughly around, I would say, around 18, 20 years old. This one here is Michaela, my rose hair, normal form, Gramasola rosea. 
my other three word interested in eating. Yeah, she's always the one that is most of the time consistent with her eatings. The other ones, not so much. Alright, this is the tea that started all. This is Scarlet, my Brachypalma Smithy, the Mexican Redney. Fresh after a molt. So, I'm going to find out a nice size super for this lovely female. I mean, her legs are, look like candy corn. That's how gorgeous she is. Go. Nice B. Smithy, Mexican red knee. Let's try Athena, my other Brachypalma Smithy. Here we go, good girl. Good girl. And this is Kina, my Haplopus species Columbia Large, the pumpkin patch. Here is Holly for Mictopus platus, the Caribbean island bird eater. Nice job. This one's my little female Vitellius parinaniensis, the Argentinian brown bird eater. Or Brazilian brown. Nice 180. What a cute little female. This one's a very hard hitter. This is Lauren, my potential female Pomphibetus ultramarinus, which is the Ecuadorian purple pink femur. Very nice tea. Hits like a ton of bricks. When she sees the cricket, watch this. Oh, 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 she missed. She missed. Oh, maybe not a good idea to do that. Uh, when I first bought her, she almost tried to bite me. There we go. You see that? <laughs> That's what I mean by hit like a ton of bricks. Here's Leon. Yes, after Resident Evil 2. My male Brachypalma erratum, the Mexican flamey. He saw Ada eat without a hitch. Now let's see how her future boyfriend Leon does. Kill those zombies Leon. Kill those zombies. Here's Morris Rose, a red faced Gramasola Rosea Chilean Rose. This guy is a legitimate five year old specimen. So don't believe pet stores when they tell you that a adult like that one you saw before was five years old. This is what they should look like at that age. Very slow growing, but holy hell. He's a toughie when it comes to feeding. Eats like my Canthoscuria brocklehursty. Here's Annette, my female bee vagans. Mexican red rump. Oh, nice job. This one here is a male Thrixopalma pruriens. Lightning fast for a Chilean green velvet. Name this one Jan after Sturmy76. And this one is a suspect male. All right, to all my Filipino subscribers, here's a tea for you. This one here is a Orphanaceous Filipinus, which is the Filipino orange. Give you a nice demo of that. Beautiful. You can really see how nice he is. Almost as orange as the OBT.
All right, this one is a hopefully suspect female, uh, Megafibema robustum, which is known as the Colombian giant red leg. A fascinating T that gets up to having an 8 inch leg span. Coming up. You have to see your colors. <laughs> oh. A little bit shy. You should expect this one to eat no problem. This is a Chromatopelma cyanopubescens, green bottle blue. Look at that. That's how a GBB should eat. Killer. Alright, now let's try to feed my Death Stalker scorpions. Uh, the Laris Quinquestriatus. Oh, nice. There we go. At least you got to see a Death Stalker sting its prey. Wow, that is a really long sting. Yeah, sucks to be that cricket. That's for sure. Awesome, at least you got one. I saved the two best for last. My Therophosas. This one here is my little newbie. Therophosa apophysis, the pink foot goliath bird eater. Oh, nice one. Can't believe that is a newborn spiraling. This thing is huge. Love it. Now for Big Mama, the largest tarantula in my collection. Last but certainly not least is Gretel, my big Therophosa Sturmy Burgundy Goliath Bird Eater. That little small Apophysis will get around that big, maybe even a bit bigger. Crunch. Big fat Gretel. Awesome. All right now for a clip of Maggie and the guinea pigs as well as the hamster. All right, so here is Maggie. Okay, roll over. Roll over. Roll over. Come on. Roll over. Come on. Come on. Roll over. Roll over. Well, not near the tease. Come here. Sit. High five. Okay, roll over. Roll over. Come on. Roll over. Come on. All right. Cute dog. Here's my little cute hamster. Uh, Naya. She is a Russian dwarf, or better known as Campbell's hamster. I guess she's not really interested in carrots. I just want to go back. So. Let's go put her back. She's pretty friendly. Yeah, of course. Give her a snack. And last but not least, her. Haley and Leah, <laughs> my two guinea pigs. Haley, here, Leah. Here we go. Take this. <laughs> I love it. Take it and run.
And Haley, where is she? Ah, oh, there she is. Hey, Haley. Hey, 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 play nice. Play nice. Do hope you enjoy Tarantula feeding video 119. It was sure really cool to see my Monocentropus Balfouri out, my P. Metallica eating, a couple of my Scolopendra uh, centipedes, as well as that nice mold from that uh, hybrid pokey. So, hope you liked the video. Sorry it's been quite a while since your last new feeding video, and There'll be certainly more vids to come in the near future, so stay tuned.